he's, he'll get back with us, I'm sure. Sometimes they just take a little longer. But as soon as I, as soon as I hear from him, I'll This is Renee. She came out to visit my property today. This is our first day on the job, but the guys are all doing trash outs. This is 323 East Carson. We just unblocked all the doors. They got the glass guy coming in measuring all the glass for exact numbers. Just gonna take you through all the units real fast. These are some of the workers out here. You got about eight guys all together. It's the front of the property. This is unit number one. We still haven't gotten to trash out this one yet. It's real basics. It's a real big kitchen here. You can see all the AC vents, all new lighting in this place. You can't see the bathrooms, but they're all brand new. They just need cleanup. Another bedroom back there. This one I want to get finished first, just because of the fact that uh, it's the first one people will see and I can use that as the model. Show them kind of what the rest are like. Another unit. This is what we buy. This one was 11K a door till we were done. 120K, 11 units. But there's more than just 11 units on this one. A lot of these are three bedrooms, some of them are two bedrooms. Yeah. There's our contractor, Ronnie Mains from Hunch Construction. He's one of Lifestyles vendors. This place smells like money. I love it. And that's Renee. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gonna smell like money right now. It smells like something else. <laughs> It was nice of them to put in all new bathrooms for me. I really appreciate that. You can see it's all new cabinetry. It's a couple years old now, but from when they last obviously rehabbed this entire place, but we'll rent, rent these out pretty quick. Just do quick make readies and get going. So the glass guys. Yeah, she wasn't much help. A lot of activity. Take it to the upstairs unit. You can hear some voices up here. I'm going to turn this one into a three bedroom. It's two bedroom right now. I'm always trying to look for different ways to bump my NOI. Just got to move a window here and door there. And hey, just in case you want to. You find some other fun stuff? I oh, already cleaned up here. This is paperwork for you. You never know. Paperwork, yeah. Someone was doing their homework on their rental agreement. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I got one of the rental agreements from the. There you go. Nice people. <laughs> <laughs> this one has stairs coming up. Yeah, this is the one with the nasty stairs. Yep. That's gonna, is that a lot of stuff in there? Down the stairs, yeah. You, can hide, you can't even walk down it. You gotta like monkey crawl it. Something smells good in here. Something must have been cleaned up. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. One of you guys gotta go down there and open that door down there. I already did. Cool, thanks. Yeah. So yeah, day one we're trashing out. Oh, that's what it is. Look, it's that mildew stuff right there. It was open. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. It's just a little. So this is the paperwork I got on the property. They found it in one of the units because I bought this property without any paperwork, basically. That's what happens when you people mom and pop stuff. You're just buying it as is, and you just have to reconstruct all the numbers yourself. As you can see how much stuff they've been taking out. You know, this is how we trash out. We have a few vagrants living in some of the units, but they're all moving out pretty quick when they see us going to jobs, so. There's another one of the units. Just real quick. I'm trying to make this a quick one for my investors so they can see it now that all the doors are open. Can't see these are dark.
And here's the AC units. And there's also some up on the roof up there. I don't know if you can see them. Now, and that's the way to the upstairs units. Now here's one of the cool things about this property. They put in all brand new piping for washers and dryers here. I've rewired it all. Here's another unit over here. This is a really big unit. Let me see some light in here. Some of these have like 10 foot tall ceilings. They're really, really going to be neat when they're done. More bedrooms over there on this unit. It's like Renee said, this is going to be a cash cow, this one. Now what's really cool about this is, I don't even count this into numbers yet. This entire frontage right here is commercial. I bought this as a 10 unit, but it was actually 11 unit. But you see how big this front area is? I can turn this into three more units on top of that and make this a 14 unit possibly in the future. We're not even counting this. It's like getting this all for free. It's just unfinished space. That's how you turn a... workers which windows to fix right now. There's some more units. Guys getting all these furniture out of here. Now this part used to be a like a nursing home for elderly people. This is a good education of when I buy them how ugly they look when we start before we repaint them, refix anything. This is a good Way to look at them, we'll resurface this tub in here. The vagrants had a TV and a couple couches. There was a lot more stuff in, but the guys already drug a lot of it out. Here's the kitchen, it's a nice bright orange. What's funny is, uh, I think it was one of the Lifestyles members, a block away, well, right behind this block, actually, bought a uh, apartment complex, and he paid, I think, 35 a door. He bought it right before he joined Lifestyles, so you can't fault him for paying too much. But now he has the education how to run it right. But the point is, is I bought an apartment complex right behind his for 11K a door. So that's a huge difference. I can show you the possibility. This is a strange unit because it actually has there's a kitchen back here. This one actually has two full bathrooms in one unit. You know, I'm tempted to put a wall up and make it into two separate units, two more units, but I'll just get it ready the way it is for now. As you can see, they retile all these bathrooms. So. And these floors, they look all gross, but you know what? These will clean up because they're all BCT tile. Valerie, yeah. I talked to her every now and then and they Oh, yeah? Yeah. Valerie, you're going to be That's how you remember her. Three more units back here. You can tell people have been living in these. There's actually one guy still living in one of them, but he's only got to go by the end of the day. Really nice. You know. You can see that the, uh, the homeless guys were, they even uh, turned the electric on somehow in these units, so they could have electric. No bathroom. They have the fridge going. They got the meth lab there. Now I'm going to skip this next unit because there is the guy still in there. We told him by the end of the day, you know, be nice to him so I don't trash your place. So he understands. That's this one here. There's something new standing in this one. I'll skip that one. But 
This is one of the worst ones we gotta do the most work on. This one has really tall ceilings. It's kind of a neat, neat place. We gotta fill in that fireplace there. We don't wanna keep that. They come with some nice mattresses and stuff too. Really tall ceilings. That's about it. Ah. Individual meters for the entire complex. Ronnie's getting some expert advice from his wife. 